This video is brought to you by Triple Sleeve TCG. Check out their website at triplesleevetcg.com. Okay, hi YouTube. I have Luard. Um, your starter is going to be Drag Prince Root. Uh, it's like the starter that you run because everyone does the same thing. Um, for grade threes, we run four Drag Heart Luard. Uh, it's important because uh, that you run four because it's what you want to ride. Um, its skill, its first skill is you can during your main phase, you can uh, once per turn only you retire two grade one rear guards, uh, draw a card and choose one of your opponent's rear guards and retire it. That's a nice little bit of control and also you want to fuel your drop zone with grade one, so it, it it's a it's a good engine for that. Um, its second skill is uh, it's counter blast three. But your um, the amount of counter blast you can the cost of it gets reduced by one for every grade one you have in your drop zone, um, so it can ultimately be free, uh, and it's pretty easy to make it free. So good, 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 good cost. Um, return two normal units from your drop zone to the bottom of your deck, and search your deck for a drag driver Luard. Ride it on top of stand, and at the end of turn, you pick. Dragheart Luard. I don't know if it explicitly says this card. No, you pick a Dragheart Luard in your soul and ride it on top of Drag Driver at rest. So basically, you get you get um, the turn you first ride to Drag Wizard Dragheart. You're gonna get three gifts, and the following turns, if you don't ride, you get two gifts. So that's really good. Um, it's basically just a light version of what the original Luard used to do. Um, so we run three Drag Driver Luard. Uh, it's grade three, it's got force. Um, it is still 13k and one crit, but its skill is nice. Uh, its first skill is for the entire turn. Um, it, as the Vanguard, gets 5k for every grade one rear guard you have. So potentially you can give it 25k and swing for 38 plus whatever um, markers you ride on top of, but like you don't use markers on your Vanguard because it's already swinging for a big number. Um, so its second skill, oh yeah, its second skill is, um, oh right, sorry, the second part of its first skill is that uh, if you have two grade threes in soul, um, all of your front row, front row grade ones? I don't know if it's specifically front row, no, just all of your grade one rear guards crits become two. I think that means you can still give them crits, right? It's just that their base crit gets changed to two? Yeah, okay. Um, so basically everything, I mean, both your grade ones are gonna in the front row are gonna swing for two crit base. Uh, and then its second skill is when it's placed on Vanguard, Counterblast one, search your deck for up to the number of cards in your soul with Luard in their name, plus one grade ones, and call them. So basically what that means is if you have one Drag Heart and you ride Drag Driver, um, you search for two grade ones. Uh, so basically every turn you use it, you just keep getting to call more and more grade ones until inevitably you can call an entire field. Uh, nice card. I like it. Um, you only run three of, just because, like, you want to make space for other stuff. It's a very grade one heavy deck. You should be able to win by the time you hit your, like, second copy. Uh, then I run one Phantom Blaster Dragon. We're not going to go into what it does because it's a horrible card. I run it because it's a superior ride target. I will go into that in a bit. Um, on moving on to grade two, you run four Blaster Dark. This is mainly because of the superior ride. You need Blaster Dark to be your vanguard, so run four, but it's still a decent card. Um, when it's called or ridden, when it's called or you ride with it, you can Counter Blast one and your opponent picks a rear guard and they retire it. So just nice small amount of control, not a huge deal, but it's other skills when it's on Vanguard. If your opponent has no rear guards, you can discard a card, it gains a drive check. Uh, change to the game and it still changes the game to this day. People are so fucking stupid. Wait, isn't that card the one the, that revolutionized, the one that revolutionized Vanguard? Vanguard? Yes, because one of our uh, Not a friend. people thought that. Someone in our local. A person with thoughts said that. Yeah. yeah, well. Maybe freedom of thought isn't such a good idea. Uh, then we run four Drag Wizard Leofail. This card's great. When it's placed on Vanguard or Rearguard, counter plus one. Search your deck for a grade one and call it anywhere to an open Rearguard. Just nice for setting your field and you want grade ones for Luard. 
Um, then we run three Drag Wizard Morphessa. You can run four if you want to change up some of like the ratios. Like, if you don't want to run the Superior Ride, but three is perfectly fine for me. Um, its skill is on Rearguard and in deck. If your Vanguard is Luard, if your Vanguard has Luard in the name, um, it gets Grade minus one, so it counts as a Grade two, a uh, Grade one. Sorry. Um, and its second skill is on Rearguard. At the end of the battle, it attacked. Uh, it doesn't need to attack Vanguard, which is cool, I guess. Um, if you have four or more uh, rear guards with original grade ones, um, so Morfessa doesn't count itself, you can counterblast one, retire this unit, and call up to one grade one from your drop zone to rear guard. So um, there is a grade one in this that you can be used very offensively. Uh, so this is basically a combo with that. It's a pretty good scale just to lay on the pressure. Um, on to grade ones. Uh, we run three um, Cherishing Knight Branwen. It's the grade three searcher, so on call, check top five for grade three, add it to hand, discard cards, grade totals three or more. Uh, but its other skill to gain 5k is um, if your drop zone is three or more grade ones on your turn, it gets 5k. Uh, pretty good offensive card, if, especially if it's on a bunch of force markers, because you build up so many force markers um, with uh, just writing and rewriting the different Luards. Um, so you can have that card swing for upwards of like 33 to 43. Uh, we run three, um, Freezing Witch Bendy. So this is the grade one that Superior rides Phantom Blast Dragon. Its skill is if your Vanguard is Blaster Dark, uh, Soul Blast one and retire this unit, search your deck for up to one Phantom Blaster Dragon, ride it, uh, as stand, and for the rest of the turn, um, you can't use that unit's act abilities. So basically you ride Phantom Blaster Dragon as vanilla, but you are riding to grade three while your opponent is at grade two, possibly grade one if you go first. So like, that's just good alone. Um, but the reason why you use it is because that means that your first turn using Luard, you already get the condition to have your front row gain two crits. So you get it for an, one extra turn, which is very beneficial for the pressure. Um, then we run two uh, Black Sage Charon. Uh, skill is, I mean, it's been around for like years now, but it's when it's called from deck, no, when it's called by an ability uh, of your card, Soul Blast 1, counter charge 1, this unit gets 3k. This deck counter blasts a lot, so you want to be able to refund those counter blasts. It's just super important. I only run two, though, because Leward recycles. You want to have a variety of grade 1s in this deck that do different things, um, or at least there's just a lot of grade 1s that you want to run that are good and uh, you can just recycle it off of Luard. So it's really not that big of a deal that you don't have that many. Um, run three Abyssal Owl. Its skill is when it's placed on Vanguard or Rear Guard. If uh, your opponent's Vanguard has, oh, well, first off, you counter blast one and draw a card if it's when it's placed. But if your opponent, if you and your opponent, what does it work? If, you're, if your Vanguard and your opponent's Vanguard have the same grade, you can Soul Blast one instead of Counter Blasting, which is a lot better. Um, and I think it has to be placed by, no, it's just one place, so you can normal call it. It's kind of like Sword Breaker, but better. We run one Nightmare Painter. The reason for this, its, it's skill is uh, on call, grab a grade one or less card from drop and shove it into soul. This unit gets 3K. The reason is because you can keep recycling the card as a one of, um, so you don't want to run more than that. And you burn through a lot of soul with Charon, which is your only resource engine for counter charging. So, uh, it's your only way to counter charge. So run this card because you want to be able to get soul back. So here's my favorite grade one. It's a uh, strict order knight Luales. Um, its skill is if you have five or more grade one rear guards, Morphessa counts too, this unit gets plus 15k, making it a 20k. This is what you call with Morphessa's skill. So it's it's your best offensive option. Um, and then I run one Sage of Risk, uh, Decremps. Its skill is if your Vanguard is grade three or greater, all of your grade one, all of your front row grade one units get intercept. Um, so that way you can help fuel the drop zone. You just get more shield out of it, uh, more defense. Um, just a good card, you know, put one in there, get it out early, use it. So that's the main deck, or that's the, the those are the cards. And we go to the triggers, you run eight crit, uh, four heal, and of course, your draw PG, MacLear.
Uh, and then it's a force clan, so use force. Um, never use force two in this deck. There is absolutely no point. Your grade twos, I mean, your grade ones with Luard are already going to have a base of two crit, so they literally do nothing on force two. And the idea is that you, you know, go into Luard, you get, give me a gift, Richard. Can I have a gift, please? Go into Luard, you get a gift, put it on your rear guard. Then you ride drag driver, you get another gift, put it on rear guard. You re-ride drag card at the end of turn, get another gift, put on your other rear guard. So you're always going to have gifts. Um, a lot of them. Because it's a very rear guard heavy deck, you want to be able to hit for big numbers, and that is what you use your gifts for. Uh, and of course you run the one quick shield because you can grab it with root, and uh, that's helpful for discard fodder uh, in case you need it. Um, so that's the deck. It's pretty standard. Uh, you can change up some of the ratios and run Apocalypse Bat if you want, uh, but you would have to probably get rid of the Superior Ride, and that's fine. The deck doesn't necessarily need the Superior Ride, but I do prefer it. So um, definitely to like build up resources, I would say. The Superior Ride is a better build because you have like more turns where you are twin driving. Uh, so I think it's a solid build. It's how I like it. Um, but anyway, that is the deck. So, let me know how I did. Uh, fucking cuss me out in the comments or whatever. Um, or ask us to build a certain deck that we stinky? probably won't build. Fuck you! <laughs> only my mommy can call me stinky, and that's when she's only changing my diapy. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys, and, uh, donate to our Patreon. We'll see you later.